Good morning. So I think I finally figured out how to work this GoPro. So I am going to tackle my shower and it's been a goal of mine to wait to do my shower until I figured out how to work this. Um, so today I'm going to try to do this. So I have my shower scrub mitt or bath scrub mitt and a window cloth and that's all I'm going to use. So a few little disclaimers. My shower is um, old and when we moved in this house they were supposed to resurface it which supposedly they did but they did a horrible job and so I can only scrub the bottom of the shower so much um, because it's actually this mitt works so well that it's actually taking <laughs> the um, where they resurfaced off so that is sorry I'm just happened to re-wet this a little bit um, so you might see the bottom of my shower and be like oh well that's not coming all the way clean. It would come clean. Um, however, it's also going to take off the um, surface of my shower. So I actually, if you know anybody that resurfaces showers, I need them. <laughs> we need them. So I'm trying to just do this pretty quickly. I have the baby asleep. I just dropped off the big kids at school. So I'm just trying to do this rather quickly while he is still asleep. And yes, we will do the door in just a little bit. I know that's the pretty impressive spot where you can see the difference. I don't know how well y'all are able to see, but it's literally just like a wipe, um, which is what's amazing. I hate scrubbing <laughs> and back hurting and, you know, all the great things that come with clean showers. So this is it is bar soap. This is all stuck right here. Sorry if I get most of that off. I'll probably have to rinse this. But as you can see, I'm not using any spray or anything. It's really just a mitt. That is my favorite part. Because the only thing I've ever found that would actually clean showers is bleach. And then you're in here breathing it in, which we're lucky we do have a window in here, but still. By the time that you're done, get feeling a little not so great. My favorite side to use is the textured side because it cleans so well without having to scrub but it's also nice to have the that other side right there that's available so yeah like i said i really can't scrub the bottom of my shower too much or there was a crack here and we will start leaking. So as you can probably see right here, I do have some soap scum. We live in the desert, so we have horrible, horrible hard water. And we have not put a water softener in this house yet. I apologize, that's really loud. <laughs> but 
I am just using the scrub side of this. Makes it super easy. I have all this soap from the bar soap. I'm actually gonna rinse that out because that'll just create more soap scum. And whenever I'm rinsing, I'm really just using some lukewarm water. Um, but you can see those pores open up whenever you use the lukewarm water and it cleans it right out. And yes, we need to recalk the whole thing. <laughs> if you uh, have an older house, <laughs> then you know it's just endless projects. It must be on the outside. But Norwix has actually made it fillable where I know that it's actually clean. so I can get into the little places where they overlap. And then I'll go back through with my polishing cloth. decided that doors on showers were a good thing, but I hate them completely. So, And yeah, you can see through the door where I have the window on the other side, that there's still some spots and stuff, um, but that will clean up when we use the polishing cloth. So let's switch that around. This one. Right. Like I said, this is just my window cloth. It. And then we'll go back inside and do that all again. There we go. Now you can see through it. Yeah, if you saw my post in my party group right after I started, I thought this was a frosted glass. <laughs> I had no idea that it was supposed to be clear glass because it was so bad when we moved in and I had been cleaning it every other week and it was not changing. So I just assumed that it was an ugly frosted glass. And now you're supposed to be able to see to the outside. Thanks, y'all.